The Western classic Shane has sprung to life on the stage of the Guthrie. And our own Shane Wells <laughs> joins us with the show's stars to talk about this version of this famous novel. Stepping back in time while on stage and sidling up the bar with the stars of Shane playing right now at the Guthrie. William Demerit plays Shane, mm -hmm. Ricardo Chavira, and you play Joe Starrett. That's correct. Uh, Rival, or actually, they're 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 good friends here in this. It's eventually. like a brother thing. Yeah. Eventually, right? Very much so. Okay, so let's step back in time. I'm selfishly covering this because growing up, my mom would always yell, "Shane, come back, Shane," <laughs> and that's the famous line at the end of the movie, or the western. What is your experience with Shane prior to this? That never got old for you, did no, it? Never. Okay. <laughs> um, so, other than sort of the general and the ephemera cultural reference, I had no experience with Shane that I was aware of. Okay. Having read the book and then watched the film, I realized that people probably don't even realize how often Shane is referenced in modern <clears throat> in modern American like hero cinema. I mean, even the movie Logan, the Wolverine movie that yeah. came out several years ago, that was that was Shane. Uh, and then Magnificent Seven that uh, was done a few years ago, that for some reason has a complete Shane reference. So it's kind of throughout cinema. Now you're seeing it everywhere. Now I'm seeing it everywhere. Oh. I can't escape Shane. Yeah, and I know that, Shane. right? You grew up really appreciating and loving Western. It was one of the things that influenced me to kind of want to be an actor. Uh, so all you do is Westerns, right? That's not true at all, no. <laughs> you right um, so, so, but, but to get this opportunity where it's like, you know, maybe you might want the opportunity to do it in, in some other format, um, regardless to have the opportunity to play a character in a Western, even on stage is an amazing opportunity. So for those who know Shane well from the book and the film, how is this the same, this story, how is it different too at the same time? Well, I would say that the book and the film are actually significantly divergent. I think the film misses, intentionally or not, I don't know, a lot of the points of the book, huh. which is a man that is very resistant to violence and very resistant to firearms, uh, not as a concept, but in terms of like you only use them when they're needed. Uh, and this play is much more in line with the book in that regard. And <clears throat> the foremost difference is that our playwright, uh, Karen Zacharias, has reintegrated people of color into the Old West narrative. One of the things where it holds true to the book and also to the movie would be um, your primary theme. So the theme of family, the theme of brotherhood, the theme of love, the theme of unrequited love. I mean, really, it's myth. It's very, at its heart, there is a very powerful and simple through line, not just of family, but also of right and wrong, and someone making what they might consider to be the ultimate sacrifice for what they believe to be the greater good. Yeah. Shane is on stage now at the Guthrie, and it plays through August 27th. You can get your tickets at guthrietheater.org. Shane! Shane, come back! Shane one, Shane two. No, Bill, you can leave. Other Shane, come back. <laughs> and scene. I think she's got it. That's what we call true drama. <laughs> I, I love how she said my mom used to say that and never really understood where it was coming <laughs> there, from. There it is. That's for me, that's the Kelly, 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 exactly. Kelly from Cheers, from you cheers. know? And it took me a long time which to be like, I, why are people saying that? Which, I don't understand. Which I used to sing to you when you first got yeah, here. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, it's true. It's okay.